If your spine is a little out of shape, then after your three kowtows, ensure you stretch your arms out straight. Relax your shoulders and arms as much as possible. Should we visualize while prostrating to awaken wisdom? Our wisdom is related to our brain's productivity. I don't recommend visualizing when prostrating. In our prostration guidelines, visualization is not emphasized. Just prostrate sincerely. Here are my requirements. Your posture should be correct, your feet should be in line. Not one foot ahead or behind the other foot, that's wrong. Your feet must stay aligned. This is the first point. Secondly, the spot your head knocks must be aligned with centered of the body. These are essential requirements. That's it. Due to bad habits, some people's lumbar spine has a slight curve. For example, some people tend to sway their head to the left. As a result, when they kowtow, their head tends to slant to the left. This could cause pelvic tilt and a bend in the lumbar spine. This could cause health issues, such as paralysis and nerve pain in the legs. In the worst case, this could even cause severe health issues, so to keep your spine and brain healthy, your body should be straight when you are on the ground. You can draw some marks. On the floor, using masking tape, mark where your feet should go. Draw a line from the knocking spot to center point between your legs. This will keep your spine straight. If your spine is a little out of shape, then after your three kowtows, ensure you stretch your arms out straight. Relax your shoulders and arms as much as possible. This helps your spine to stretch evenly. This will also gradually adjust your misaligned spine and will benefit your health. The aforementioned requirements are about prostration posture. The following is about kowtowing. Let's talk about the three kowtows, touching the ground three times. Most of us are living in tall buildings nowadays. The sound of your kowtows may bother the people downstairs. If they're sleeping, the knocking sound might wake them up. If it's not an issue, then it's better to knock with sound. Once I tried to make my kowtowing quieter, I didn't want to disturb people downstairs, so I taped a rubber duck to my forehead. When I knocked, it didn't make the knocking sound, instead, it made a squeaking duck sound. It was a bad idea. In the end, I tied a towel around my forehead like the Japanese do. The knocks were quieter. Here are the effects of prostration. It stretches your spine and body evenly, standing up, bending over, stretching again and kowtowing. All of these benefit our health. The three knocks are the key to awakening our wisdom. The three kowtows help develop our wisdom. There's no need for visualization. If you insist on visualizing, visualize being respectful, without greed, anger, ignorance, arrogance or doubt.